On January 13th, 2023, the actor Julian Sands uh, went on a hike, Mount Baldy, uh, about 100 miles actually behind this mountain range where we are right now, about 100 miles from here, and he disappeared. Now, his car was ultimately found on the 19th of January. Uh, they had a search out for him, and eventually the weather got so bad that uh, they weren't able to, they had to call off the search. They still did air searches uh, occasionally, but it was so rough that they couldn't do it. Now, Julian Sands was supposed to be, was a, an experienced hiker. I've always heard that if you're an experienced, if you're any kind of hiker, you never go hiking on your on your own, period. But um, that's what he did that day. They lost his phone signal after a few days. That's what they were trying to go on. And as I mentioned, they found his car. But he wasn't found until um, until June 19th of this year. And it actually took a few days for them to identify what exactly they found uh, of Julian Sands. And I just received uh, the coroner's report of uh, the official coroner's report of Julian Sands. And um, I'm gonna read it for you today, what exactly happened and what exactly they found. So um, Julian Sands was born actually in Yorkshire in, in England. And his date of birth was January 4th, 1958. He was 65 years old. His body was found on June 24th, 2023 at 10 a.m. And I'll tell you a little bit more about that. Uh, civilian hikers had uh, had found his body. Now I've got these sort of tagged, so I'm gonna try to read them in the order I tagged them in. And this is sort of the, uh, the interview with the deputy who was at the scene. He spoke with uh, Deputy Sh Sean Byrne of the San Bernardino uh, County Sheriff's Department. He says at 2.21 p.m. he spoke with another deputy, Sheriff Byrne. The following is a summary of that interview. On Saturday, June 24, 2023, at 10 o'clock, a group of six hikers located human remains, clothing, and some property. They located a wallet containing a California driver's license for Julian Sands. That was in the pants pocket of the clothing that were found in the remains. Also was located, also they also located his uh, cell phone. Three of the hikers continued on the hike to the top of the summit with the wallet and cell phone in hopes to contact authorities. The other three hikers stayed with the remains until they were able to flag down help. The aviation division was notified and performed an area check. They located the three hikers who were flagging them down. Byrne was hoisted to the ground. At 12.02 p.m. he confirmed human remains were located. The remains were scattered within a hundred foot radius. The terrain was mostly on a slope. Some parts of the slope were steep. Clothing was mostly located in the bushes and some clothing and remains were located in by fallen trees. The remains were located here are the coordinates, which is approximately 1,000 feet southwest of the Baldy Bull Trail. The remains and clothing were collected and placed in two yellow body bags. They ultimately um, had notified the next of kin. That was at uh, 3.43 p.m when they notified his wife that remains had been found. He hiked on Mount Baldy several times. He left his home on January 13th, 2023 at 5.30 a.m. He was expected back in the afternoon, but he didn't return. His wife called and said that it was, recalled, I should say, that it was extra cold in the mountains at that time. She filed a missing persons report in the evening of January 13th. Search and rescue crews faced severe and dangerous weather conditions and were not able to do complete searches around that time. There was an avalanche warning that was announced around the time following his disappearance. He was in good health and he was fit. This is the examination of what exactly they found of Julian Sands. On Saturday, June 24, 2023 at 12.30 p.m., the coroner, was assigned to the incident number 22. Deputy Sheriff Sean Byrne from the San Bernardino County Sheriff's Office called to report human remains were located on Mount Baldy. At 13.45, I responded, this is the coroner's investigation, responded from the Central Coroner Division in San Bernardino to the Aviation Division and arrived at, uh, at uh, 1.55 p.m. At two o'clock, I began the remains examination in the aviation hangar. The remains consisted, this is, this is gruesome, the remains consisted of a skull, mandible with teeth, dehydrated right hand, pelvis, and multiple long bones. There was clothing found with the remains, a blue puffy jacket, two windbreaker jackets, black shirt, gray t-shirt, black pants, and one gray sock. 
two hiking boots, and two red traction cleat boot attachments. The clothing was dirty and multiple pieces showed animal activity. He says he didn't observe trauma, however, there was animal activity observed on the skeletal remains. Uh, he took 24 digital photographs. He affixed the toe tag number 05419 to the right index finger. Aviation personnel had placed the remains in a yellow body bag and placed the clothing in another body bag and placed the yellow body bags inside a heavy duty blue body bag and secured it with a pouch lock. The body was transported uh, to the Sheriff's Morgue facility in the San Bernardino. The remains were designated as a pseudonym John Doe, 125-23, but believed to be the remains of Julian Richard Sands. At the scene, a wallet containing a California driver's license bearing the name Julian Richard Sands. Date of birth, January 4, 1958, was located. A positive ID will be made by using dental records. So now we're going to go into the autopsy itself, or the examination of the human remains. Again, this is the coroner, created by Carol Foster, approved by Sean Morgan. Positive identification. On June 26, 2023, I received an anti-mortem anti dental radiographs and records of Julian Sands, date of birth 1-4-1958, by email. I forwarded the radiographs and records to my to, by email to forensic odont, odont, <laughs> odontologist Kathy Law for analysis. Autopsy assistant completed post-mortem dental radiographs of this John Doe and forwarded the radiographs and investigative report to Dr. So-and-so for comparison to the anti-mortem records of Julian Sands. Uh, determined that Julian Sands was, uh, by means of dental comparison, it was his, they were definitely his remains. And, um, a, and a cause of death could not be established. Now this is the, uh, this is the actual uh, coroner division autopsy protocol, is what they call it. Because there wasn't much. There wasn't much. The following information is obtained from Deputy Coroner Investigative Report. The decedent was found dead in the mountains near San, near Mount San Antonio. The body is submitted within a body bag and identified the coroner tag. The body uh, of that unembalmed, refrigerated, mostly disarticulated and skeletonized man. His clothing had been removed prior to the autopsy. No clothing was uh, examined. The following findings include only those present at the time of the autopsy and do not include medical therapeutic devices removed prior from, to autopsy. The body is nearly completely skeletonized with only small fragments of stringy, dry, attached, soft tissue. Many of the bones demonstrate animal activity, uh, including scapula, proximal right humerus, distal left radius, distal left ulna, uh, ba, 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 right femoral head, distal right femur, left femoral head, proximal femur, proximal right tibia, it goes on. Evidence collected at the autopsy, none, no tattoos. Six radiographs are reviewed and demonstrate findings compatible with those described in the report. The body, this is this will be the last part of it. I know this is quite technical but uh, it's important, it's official. These are official documents. The body consists almost entirely of bone with only small fragments of dry, stringy, attached soft tissue. The right hand is mostly present except for the thumb and demonstrates mummification. Inventory of the bones present includes most of the skull, the mandible, bilateral femora, we went through all of this stuff, well, bilateral femora, bilateral tibia, bilateral fibula, uh, bilateral tally, bilateral partial, Calc I wish I knew these nerve these uh ex these ex do you know them Calc calcinea do you know mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. the sacrum bilateral iliac bones bilateral scapula bilateral humeri bilateral radii bilateral ulnae most of the right hand except for the except for the thumb C1 and C2 uh, the right zygomatic region is fractured and mostly absent. The right maxillary region demonstrates a fracture with a small indented region of the factor. This is very, very technical. Toxicology, no suitable specimens. Uh, microscopic examination was not performed. 
the summary, summary and the opinion. This 65-year-old man, Julian Richard Sands, was found deceased in the mountains near Mount San Antonio. A full autopsy is performed. The body consists almost entirely of bone and only small fragments of dry attached soft tissue. Many of the bones demonstrate animal activity. Overall, the cause of death could not be positively uh, identified. The absence of any internal organs precluded evaluation for natural disease. Two possibilities for cause of death include natural disease and environmental exposure. The indentation of the maxillary region fracture suggests that this was possibly associated with animal activity, but it is unknown if this was anti-mortem or post-mortem. So that's that, undetermined cause of death. No external agency witnesses are present for this autopsy. Completed 2.04 p.m. on June 26, 2023. So it took a long time to get Julian Sands to find Julian Sands and put his uh, family at ease. At least they have closure as family and friends. And, uh, and please consider bringing along a friend with you if you go hiking. So there you are. Those are the details. So, um, so I guess that's that. I appreciate you watching and uh, rest in peace, Julian Sands.